Send my prayers up to the Lord. Is the one that I adore? He's the only one that hey, beautiful people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have a nail missing, hence, I'm doing this. I'm like, where's the other one? No, this one is this side. So I'm greeting like this. No, I should greet like this. Like, what up, people? Yo, yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's restart. Let me take life seriously. Okay, let me. I might look very hype and happy for someone that had to go through a very traumatic experience yesterday. But by the grace of God, everything eventually started to make sense. There's something about the Holy Spirit that whenever he, it is present, it just it just calms you. It just it makes you relax. It makes you feel like everything is being taken care of. You get what I'm saying? I arrived yesterday to my class to a crazy scene. My class was vandalized. I'm talking about chairs everywhere, books everywhere. Like right now, it's in a much more better state. But yesterday my class was vandalized and my doors were broken. This is a state. Uh, also my storeroom is vandalized. Mm, things, books and things are just everywhere. I realized that they took my laptop back. It was, yeah, there was a laptop back here. But they still left this, which is my... And luckily my laptop is in my room at the hostel. My, yeah, it's there and they also broke my, my door. As you can see. And then also today broke the camera. There was a camera this side and now it's it's ripped out. I don't even know. And you know what? In this very in this midst of so many things happening yesterday but to be honest i wasn't really that mad yesterday i think what was going through when i arrived to the scene of my class being halfway opened i just didn't have any emotions i don't know what i was feeling but i was just numb and being numb in a sense that i'm just like oh lord what is happening you get i remember yesterday as i was laying in bed it was around nine i was around nine and as i was laying i was just thinking and thinking about so many things and i don't know man for me at this point i am tired and not like tired of sleeping and but just tired of myself sometimes just tired of behaviors just tired of habits just, just tired i'm exhausted and sometimes the type of tired I'm feeling sometimes it isn't the type of I want to go and sleep it's not but it's the type of tired of just being tired of certain things or certain aspects of your life where you see the enemy is where I notice where the enemy has taken control of like it's those type of things that make me feel tired and it's not always the sleepy kind of tired which lead me to yesterday, out of the blue, the Holy Spirit just started teaching me and he just took me way back to so many things. He took me way back to moments where I had prayed for something and I achieved it. And it so happened that whatever I was praying for, it got answered and it happened. Or were there moments where I just believe that no man this is gonna happen and then boom in a second and it actually happens where I'm taking you with all of this it's just that sometimes our thoughts 
It has power. And that is what the Holy Spirit was trying to tell me, or was rather telling me at that point, that your thoughts carry so much power, and you don't realize that sometimes. And when I was thinking about this, I started remembering about this scripture in Philippians. Paul was teaching, or rather making his congregation aware of the power of thinking. And this takes me to the scripture Philippians 4, verse 8. Verse, Philippians 4, verse 8. And yesterday, I was, remember I was laying down and I was reading this particular scripture, uh, Philippians 4, verse 8. If you're also watching this video, just grab your Bible, go look for the scripture. And this scripture says that, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. How many of us, like, we find ourselves always thinking about what should have happened or what could have happened of what had happened of what is yet to happen just so many thinking hence we are always trapped in this stigma of or the cycle of overthinking because we just think and I, I understand our brains are made to think. It's, it, our brains are designed to process information. But the problem lies with what information is being processed and how is this information being processed. There is where the problem lies sometimes. And the Holy Spirit just opened to me that how it so happened that I have a problem with what is being processed and how it's being processed when i was reading the scripture it just instantly came to me that the power of positive thinking and i know we hear this so many times and you know the problem is with certain things is that sometimes hearing something or sometimes knowing something or sometimes seeing something or sometimes just or sometimes just rather understanding something it's not enough. That's what I've realized. But living or practicing something is what actually gives you that, that boost of progress or that boost towards deliverance or that boost towards transformation. This Christianity work is yet so simple but sometimes so complicated from individual to individual. Ah, this nail from individual, <laughs> let me do that, from individual to individual. <laughs> Let's be serious, okay. I wrote, I wrote down so many things, I wrote down so many things, okay. And I remember I started thinking about positive thinking and actually the scripture as a whole, as, it, as this scripture was, was trying to teach me about positive thinking. And if we have to define positive thinking, uh, it's an approach, a method, a way to look beyond. Bear in mind, the most important thing, the most important term, or the most important words to remember, it's look beyond. Look beyond. Okay, sure. Look beyond the crisis situations, wrong things, mistakes, heartaches. Which basically, there's so many uh, things that could happen which can result in something that makes us feel a particular way or make us look a particular way or make us think a particular way. It could be heartache, it could be anything traumatic, maybe, for example. But, but the one thing we have realized now as life is life is unpredictable from our point of view. But from God's point of view, it's pretty much predictable because he's all knowingly. He knows everything. He knows you more than you even know yourself. And that is the key thing that we sometimes forget. That's where we sometimes we lose track, thinking that we know this thing called life 
more than the Creator. That's where we end up doing things we're not supposed to be doing, or we take parts that we're not supposed to be taking. Remember when I said that positive thinking is the ability. We can also describe it as the ability or an approach to be able to look beyond things. And what does it mean to look beyond things? Or what are the things that we should be looking beyond? It's the negative things. Negativity always exists, whether we like it or not. Tough times, it always exists. And when I say these things, I'm also speaking to myself because my soul needs to hear. So having the ability to look beyond negative aspects and negative or rather negative things, it's what positive thinking literally is. It's not just something we need to know or understand or just see, or just, but it's something we should be practicing. And I see sometimes that is why, where our biggest problem lies and how the enemy is able to, to overpower us sometimes. Because what does the enemy always use to overpower us? Our thoughts. Meaning that if your thoughts or if our thoughts are filled with negative things, is it not easy for the enemy to overpower us? Hence, Paul advised his congregation that all things that are true, noble, trustworthy, praiseworthy, excellent, and admirable. So Paul is telling us that we should be thinking about good things. Our thoughts should be filled with positive things and not negative things. Me, or how the Holy Spirit is teaching me to understand what positive thinking really is and why is it so important. It's like a filter. You know a filter. When you throw in things, some things go through, some things stay behind. So if you instill positive thinking in your mind, or if you instill positive thinking within you, you will have like a fault in your brain that will mostly like blur out or the bad things, the negative things would stay on top, knowing that it needs to be get rid of and the good things would filtrate through, meaning it has to be within. Because if you're positive, you are healthy. If you're negative, you are bitter, you are angry. Because negative thoughts results in negative actions. And positive thoughts results in positive actions. You sometimes ask yourself, why are you like this? It's boy thoughts are the problem. It's the thought. It's the mind. Hence, there's so much emphasis on an open-minded mindset. Because if your mindset is fixed, you will remain the same. Hence, it is important to have an open mindset, an open-minded mindset, so, you, so your mind is actively being renewed. Hence, the Bible even speaks about renewing of our mind, because there's so many things happen. So people, I don't want to speak too much, too long on this, but I just want to remind you, whoever that's watching, that it is important that we do not forget the aspect of positive thinking. Because it has a greater contribution towards our actual mental well-being or our overall holistic well-being. Because at the end, do they not say we are who we think we are? Or you behave what you think of yourself. So many things about your thoughts being the problem. That if your thoughts is not at the right place, you yourself might not behave rightfully. Let's think about that, people. It is something that I have to work on. I probably suck. Not probably. I suck. Because all these months, I'm asking myself, why am I so struggling? And the Holy Spirit said, you're struggling because you are negative. You, that's, I'm humbled and I need to go and do some self-introspection. And with that being said, I have to go and look within and think about everything and just be and relook and reassess, reanalyze everything because we are so quick to look around and not within. Because if within is right, around would naturally take on the light of what is within. Hence, it's so important for us to be to, to look within. So, people, yeah. That's just what I wanted to share now. So I think I have to be somewhere now. So people, 
See you later, alligators. Love you. Love you loads. Love you loads.